Welcome to our YouTube channel on Solving Math with Lunalin. Now, let's answer a question from random post that ito ay nakapost sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Ang nandito, ito yung uh, tinatawag na probability. Let's do question number one or yung question dito, ika 46. So, in a way... Question number one. A basket contains 10 red apples, 10 red apples, 7 green apples, and 8 oranges. If a fruit is selected at random, at random yan siya, what is the probability of getting an orange? Ganito lang yan. Yung nasa denominator, yan yung total. So, total natin, 10 plus 7, plus 8, and this is 25. 25 ba yan siya? Okay. Ilan yung orange? 8. Again, ito yung total. Tapos, ito naman kung ano yung hinahanap natin? Oranges. So, yung total sa orange. Oranges. Kasi yan yung iselect. So, let's proceed. Sa mga choices, walang 8 over 25 dyan, pero merong mga decimal. So, i-divide natin to. 8 over 25 means 8 divided by 25. Ilang 25 ba sa 8? Kulang siya. So, magdagdag tayo ng isang 0. Pero bago yan, yung decimal i-align natin, natin sa taas. So, ang 80, ilang 25 ba yan? Meron yung tatlo. 3 times 25 and this is 75. Sa actual na exam, kapag nakita mo na yung point 3 na yan, wala namang point 3 dito, kundi yung letter A lang, yan na yung sagot para hindi kayo maubusan ng oras. Anyway, let's continue. 80 minus 75 and this is 5. Magdagdag pa tayo ng isa pang 0. 50 divided by 25 and this is 2. So yun na nga ang sagot ay point 32. Next, number two. A class consists of 30 male students and 12 female students. If a student is selected at random, what is the probability of getting a female student? Yung iselect yung mga female. Ilan yung female? 12. So, nasa numerator. Yung denominator natin ay yung total. 30 plus 12. So, 30 plus 12 and this is 42. Walang fraction sa mismong choices kundi nasa percentage sila. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide natin ito. 12 divided by 42. Ilang 42 sa 12 kulang kaya magdagdag tayo ng 0 pero bago yan, mag ilagay muna natin yung Decimal na i-align natin sa taas. 120 divided by 42 and this is 2. Ngayon, dito pa lang, yan ay 0.2. Ang nasa choices naman ay 0.2 na yan. Ang nasa choices, isa lang naman ang may 2 sa unahan. So, yan na yung tamang sagot. Pero, ipagpatuloy lang natin. 2 times 42 and this is 84. 120 minus 84, and this is 36. Dagdag pa tayo na isa pang 0. 360 divided by 48, 42, this is 8. 8 times 42, 336. 360 minus 306, 36, this is 4, 24. Tapos dagdag pa tayo na isa pang 0. 240 divided by 42, this is 5. So, yun na nga i-round off natin. Kung i-round off natin yan, that is 0.29. At itong 0.29, kung i-convert natin to percentage, so itong decimal na to, i-move natin twice to the right side at lagyan ng percent sign. Kaya ang sagot dito, 29%. Next, number 3. A ticket numbered... 100 to 200 were put in a fish bowl, then a ticket is drawn from the bowl. What is the probability of getting the ticket with zero as the last 
digit. Ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter D. So, doon tayo sa detalye. Yung pinaka mismong nasa denominator ay yung total. Kapag sinabing 100 to 200, hindi lang tayo mag-deduct nito. So, this is 100. Mag-add pa tayo ng isa. So, 101 yung mismong total. Mampaanong 101? Remember na included yung 100 sa ticket. Ang next 101, 102, hanggang maging 200. Again, hanggang maging 200. Itong 101 papuntang 200, 100 na tickets na yan. Included pa itong nagsimula sa 100 na isang ticket, so ang total ay 101. Now, doon naman tayo sa yung 0 ang nasa last part. Nasa last part na 0, included na yung 100. Next, merong 110. Next, 120. Hanggang 200. Dito sa 110, papuntang 200, meron yung 10. Include natin yung 100 dito. Isa yan siya, 1 count yan. So, ang total dito ay 11. So, therefore, ang nasa numerator ay 11. Kaya, ang tamang sagot dito ay letter D. Next, number 4. Ryan is going to randomly call one person from his contacts. He has a total of 98 contact numbers. 34 of those are people he met in college. What is the probability of calling a person from college? Ilan sila lahat? 34 yung from college. So, yan yung numerator. Yung denominator, yan yung pinaka-total nila lahat, which is, ang nandito sa given ay 98, yung nasa contact numbers niya. Yung mga contact numbers niya, so 98. Nasa choices na yan, unidin natin yung i-simplify, kasi nasa choices na yung 34 over 98. Kaya yan na yung tamang sagot. Next, number 5. How many possible arrangements can be made from the letters math? Apat yan siya, so 4 factorial. And this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is equal to 24. Kaya ito na yung sagot, 24. Iditalye lang natin. I-arrange, i-rearrange kasi itong math. Math. M-A-H-T. I-rearrange natin. Then we have T-A-H. M-T-H-A. Then M. Pa. H. T. A. T. A. M. H. A. T. So, tapos na. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. 6 yan nandyan. Apat na letters. So, ang nandito, magsimula lahat ng A. Tapos, baliktad. Baliktad rin mo lang yung the rest. Like, M. T. H. M. H. T. As in, anim lang din yan siya. Kasi apat yan. Yung next naman dyan ay yung letter T, letter H. So, therefore, apat, 6 times 4 equals 24. So, kahit isa-isahin mo yan, 24 yan siya. So, yun na yung pinaka-shortcut na ang gawin mo lang. Apat yan siya, so 4 factorial. So, ang 4 factorial, which is ginawa na natin kanina, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, this is 12. 12 times 2, this is 24. 24 times 1 equals 24. So, ito na yung sagot, 24. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.